about water flow for better firefighter safety. In this episode, we will demonstrate how nozzle pressure affects the stream reach of a nozzle. If flow rate remains the same, higher nozzle pressure equals greater reach. As water exits a nozzle, gravity immediately acts upon it as it works to reach a certain distance. Let's take a closer look at how gravity affects a water stream. As something falls, the speed at which it falls is affected by the acceleration of gravity, which is 32 feet per second squared. An important thing to realize is that speed gets exponentially faster with time as the object falls. This makes more sense as we look at the equation to solve for distance of a falling object. Distance equals one half multiplied by the acceleration of gravity and then multiplied by time squared. When something is squared, it means that you multiply by itself. In this case, time squared is equal to time multiplied by time. Since the time variable is squared, in one second, the distance an object falls is 16 feet. And in two seconds, the distance an object falls is 64 feet. The instant water exits a nozzle, or a bullet exits a gun, they start to fall. The time it takes to hit the ground is the same, no matter the exit speed. Therefore, the distance traveled relies only on the speed available to cover distance until they fall. Remember, video number two in this series taught us that nozzle pressure is equal to the velocity of the stream as it leaves the nozzle. Our flow experiments will use a flow of 150 GPM at three different nozzle operating pressures or velocities. Using the outlet of a deck gun, a flow meter, and pressure transducers to achieve repeatable angle, flow, and accurate measurements, we will experiment with a 150 GPM nozzle at 50, 75, and 100 PSI. Stream reach is 55 feet at 50 PSI, 62 feet at 75 PSI, and 78 feet at 100 PSI. As expected, the nozzle at 100 PSI has the farthest reach because it has the greatest nozzle pressure and velocity. It is commonly taught in the fire service that reach is based on what type of nozzle is being used, but that theory is simply not true. If flow rate is the same, the higher pressure stream will reach farther. Velocity, flow, and reach should all be considered when using or selecting an initial attack nozzle.